Welcome, Ascended Stars in the house. Okay, thank you for being here, my loves. Finally got it together to come back <laughs> in the daylight this time. All right, um, we have the Pisces full moon, so we have an eclipse. And we're letting go of a lot of... <laughs> just kidding, just kidding kidding not kidding so take what resonates leave behind what doesn't this was yesterday's poll that i um have been exhausted i haven't been able to come fully be present with you guys because this energy is very draining okay it's affecting me big time because my birthday too so um let's get back into let's get back into this energy snap out of it first we're gonna say our disclaimer so just take what resonates leave behind what doesn't um, we're going to ask for protection. Archangel Michael, please protect us as I channel and deliver the messages that I saw from the other night, from last night. Feels like a, two, two to three nights ago, but this is not true. It's just last night. So time is, you know, very different right now. It's warping out on us. Okay, so let's, um, let's get into this energy. It's intense. you have um you have a spiritual connection here with the lover and it would be very very much a wish fulfillment to come together you both can this 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 person may have a lot of money already you invoke um emotions in this individual like deep emotions that they haven't felt before okay they could be pisces i mean they, they could be libra or pisces a very peaceful person very low-key if they're pisces okay um uh, very easy going as well so going with the flow very loving <laughs> could be virgo um this is a time to soul search right now okay and this person they were juggling you okay and that was the thing is that they didn't know how to invest in you my collective so you had to become single and become cold with this individual okay it made you also learn a strong spiritual lesson as well as you you've been dealing with a taurus or a married couple all right and so this person these okay so this person also came into your so i clarified the hierophant the lovers and the nine of cups so if this could have been a time where you were making a choice to go off with uh with what you wanted to do in love okay you had healed or you are a healer you're somebody who does a lot of soul searching within and you uh reflect and check yourself often this person did not want to invest in you okay i just want to reiterate this person did not give you the the um energy of investing in you and you saw this. You said, I have a lot of love to give. I cannot be with somebody who's not going to reciprocate. Very logical, practical energy. The old man on the hill. People go to this person for advice. So you're very enlightened already. You went on your way. And you happen to meet somebody who has a lot of money here. And they, they, they might be Taurus or Libra. Strong on Taurus. They might be Gemini as well. That was another sign that comes in here. And um, this is a very bittersweet connection because you never fully got your Nine of Cups. You wanted the Nine of Cups. You wanted emotional fulfillment. You thought that this was going to come along. Why didn't it not really be fulfilled? Because it was, it was like short-lived. So it was bittersweet in a way. It's like, wow, 
like you just get one take you know it's like a like your favorite cake whatever you might like and they say here try one bite and then they take it away from you and you're like where did it go and it's like oh it's all gone sorry it's you know no more cake here for, for anybody so it's it was so fast and you didn't know that that was going to be your one and only bite of this delicious cake it's that kind of energy because what happened was a very dark um insidious insidious person a dark insidious person who works behind the scenes um that might have might have ties to law enforcement officials okay or this person has has inside um intel on how to move in in that kind of they wanted you tied and bound to them could be a capricorn this person took active action to keep you stuck this person they had strong belief systems that were not yours and maybe maybe that could have been what you were healing from This person left you to die okay they wanted you to die um, they wanted you unalived okay they were ready to fake like oh I knew them I, I can't believe a collective passed away um, there's somebody here that never went through this threshold they weren't emotionally mature to embark into something deeper with you and they rather work on, they, they 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 um actively work and rather have worked to against you to keep you stuck in your head okay because this person is very like in their head a lot they think just think of what they want they don't think of people's emotions they're just about themselves they're very egotistical uh narcissistic perhaps so this is all coming to light and this person's under judgment okay they have to make like um fast decisions and they're under a lot of press uh stress they're under a lot of pressure and stress and they're trying to throw magic at you or they hired someone to keep you stuck with very low bad options people who just want to hit it and quit it and people who don't believe the same as you do they have very different beliefs as you okay but the, and they're very over sexualized they could be sapiosexual, um, bisexual, heterosexual, all of the above. Oversexual. You're very kind, loving, giving. You gave this person your heart, and this person like feels like they can come back to you. Ooh, they definitely feel that. Um, time is ticking though, and they don't they they, they don't have like a, a plan to come like to give you something they don't know what to give they yeah and and the wheel is turning in your favor and you've already practically moved into another cycle okay and so you have somebody here that is uh, possibly a cancer a pisces a scorpio all of the water signs above that is an m that is very loving very, they got their s together their sh together okay definitely so they're trying to work actively to keep this to keep you kind of stuck maybe they're playing with your electronics um they want you to walk away they want you to feel frustrated they want you to have an outburst oh yeah and they want to stop the wheel from turning in your favor as well this jumped out they want to stop this they want to keep you with options okay because they they're like well i'm coming to you and when i come to you we're gonna have we're gonna get it on bang gong okay they're they're still having uh troubles communicating because they haven't completely healed i guess from some past thing past issue and they're also stuck with their money right now um so they don't have the momentum that they wish they could in order to come in and say let's work together 
they might be having some legal issues as well or you might i don't know but you take it put it where it fits but the, i feel like this person is throwing um energy so you stay stuck with options something people who don't take you seriously people who are not in the same vibration as you maybe arguments people who um will you do me a favor will you do me a favor they're taking advantage of your kindness because they want to keep you stuck they have this enormous desire to come over to you because they know that somebody's coming soon the lovers and you are being seen as this beautiful amazing powerful empress who walked away you left the situation elvis left the building and this has brought now great depression, sadness, uh, despair, regret to this individual. Because they just couldn't treat you right. They couldn't put it, get it together. They were broken inside. They were wounded. They didn't share any of their true feelings with you. And they feel like a shell of a person. Okay? They feel empty. Emptiness wow that's what i have that's what my pool was and um i needed to share it with you so i just want to let you guys know i love you thank you so much for watching please don't forget to give me that thumbs up keep releasing um i recognize that i put some lemonade juice on because it was so hot that one day that i, that I dropped my juice on my cards and it, it happened to be the surrender cards which is ironic. I, I thought about it today. I said, oh my gosh, I had to clean these cards because spirit doesn't want us to surrender because Pisces is about surrendering. It's about releasing and letting go. So I'm going to think I'm going to clean that up and then I'll um, leave it to dry and maybe do um, pull cards with it later. But this is what I have for now. So take care. I hope this helped. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I'll catch you soon.